Hello. Hello, everyone. How are you today? Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. How are good you? Good hello. It's good to see you. How are you today? Excellent welcome. teacher. Welcome, Jason. Welcome, Brian, Joanna, Oscar, Osmel, Jason, Sandra, Oscar, Wilmer, Walter, uh, Eneida, Carlos. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Okay. Hello. Hello. Sorry, How are you? Today? I'm late. Me, I'm late. I'm very oh, late. Hey. <laughs> the things like the other group, I was like, hey, I gotta go. I gotta go because I need to continue with another group. Okay. So um, thank you. Welcome, Oscar. Uh, Oscar, is that, um, are you joining for the first time, Oscar? Oscar? Welcome, Brian. Mm -hmm. Okay. Osmel, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Welcome. Tengo Thank alguien you. que es por primera vez que se me une a la clase. Tengo alguien que se me une por primera vez. Who is? Yes, who, who, who? Joanna. Oh, hi, Joanna. How are you, Joanna? Hi, very nice. Thank you. Nice to meet you. My name is Pedro Vasquez. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice to meet you, everybody. Okay. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Uh, welcome, Joanna. I hope uh, you had a good time because we have time here. Yeah, you will see your classmates are very interesting. They like to talk a lot. They like to participate a lot, especially Walter. Walter keeps talking and talking. Right, Walter? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, welcome, everyone. Okay, so today uh, we are going to do an activity, and I want to go right away because we have to do a lot of things today. Okay, so today we're going to do... What are we gonna do today? Dun, 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 dun. Uh, homework. Oh yeah, we had a homework. Yeah, I mean, we had an assignment, definitely. But yeah. before that, before we go to the assignment, uh, let me talk about what we're gonna be doing today. Okay, today we're gonna be describing our city. If you live in San Salvador, you're gonna be describing San Salvador. If you live in Santa Ana, you're gonna be describing Santa Ana. If you live in Aguachapan, Sonsonate, Cabañas, La Libertad, I don't know where you live. So you're gonna be talking about or describing your city. All right, so this is the agenda. As you know, every day I have an agenda and I hope you are not falling asleep because if you are falling asleep, I'm gonna ask you questions. <laughs> Understood? Ya, te, ya lo vi, Walter. Ya lo vi, ya lo vi. Ay, me cachó, dice, me cachó el teacher. <laughs> okay, so um, we're going to have a warm-up activity in where we're going to have fun. Ya van a ver, nos vamos a divertir en el warm-up porque le va a tocar levantarse. Mm -hmm. And also, we're going to be talking about my childhood, the assignment, because remember, we have an assignment for today. So in number five, we are going to be talking about that. Number five, simple past review. And then lastly, my city and practice. What is the main topic for today? I mean, what is the main objective for today? The objective is a student will be able to describe their cities and places using count and non-count nouns. So in other words, countable nouns and uncountable nouns. If you have no idea about countable and uncountable, don't worry, because today we are going to review countables and uncountable nouns. Okay? Okay? Good. Okay. All right. So let's review about yesterday. What did you learn yesterday? What did you learn? Alguien? Somebody? <laughs> I need to show. Okay, go ahead. Just as I learned about uh, using just two. Mm -hmm. and I remember you say when I used two, mm -hmm. the bird, the bird going to person. And I when I used two without D, the bird going to the past, simple, simple pass. Good. You. Yeah, good. Very good. That was a good example. Yes, Eneida. Okay, good evening, teacher. Good, good evening, evening Eneida. In my case, 
yesterday um i remember for example the um, after the used to the verb is normal no don't change mm -hmm. only that oh good yes definitely when we use used to we don't change the verb very good okay good okay so today we're gonna do a warm-up activity okay we're gonna do a warm-up activity where we are going to open our cameras okay okay so the activity the warm-up activity is find something find something for example this is an example okay find something red so that means that you need to get up and look for something red. Oh, Osmel, you got a Coke? <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, it's okay. Red. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if I ask you, okay, if I ask you, if I ask you to find something red, you gotta go and, uh, and, look, and look around and you gotta show me something red, okay? Is that clear? Is that clear lo que vamos a hacer? Yeah. Yes? So you are going to need to open your camera, okay? Okay, do not be afraid and show me. Look, look, I got something red. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Ready, ready? Okay, find something yeah, red. Ready. Okay, find something red. Go, go, go and look for something red. Something red, 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 red. Oh, okay, Brian Cepeda. That's a good one, Brian. Let me see, Walter, nice. Wilmer, good. Um, let me see, who else, who else, who else? Eric, good, good. Let me see, oh, let me see, Oscar. Ah, a bicycle, good, good, Oscar. Let me see, Carla Joel, René, good. Joanna, Joanna, nice, nice. Neida, good. Maria Correa, good. Marta Mujiver, good, okay. Next, are you ready for the next one? Okay, find something square. Something square. square. Uh oh, something yeah. square. Where can I find something square? Something square. Okay, notebooks. Okay, let me see something square. Notebook. My notebook. Uh -huh. Notebook. Okay, Carla Joel, that's a good one. Walter, thank you. Marta Manjibar, nice. Uh, let me see, let me see. Eneida, good. Let me see. Eric, good. Good, good. Brian, good. Maria, good. Okay. Um, what about uh, Sandra? Join us, Sandra, Stephanie, and Carlos. Join us. And Oscar Castillo as well. Join us to play the game. All right, next. Okay, find something made of wood something made of wood something made of wood algo hecho de madera something made of wood my table oh my table my table i'm using my table <laughs> okay okay good marta menjiver <laughs> a chainsaw a saw joanna where do you get that joanna that's a good one. Oh, oh your pencil. Right your pencil. Let me see, Oscar. What, what do you have? Oh, your table. Nice. Wendy, good. Let me see. Reina, good. Wilmer, good. Uh, Walter, good. Eneida, good. <laughs> Where do you get that, Eneida? Okay, everyone, good. Carla Joel, good. Rene Cantaderio, good. Okay. Brian. Oh, I like that, Brian. There was a, me a meme like that, remember? Había un meme como. Acaso yo le, something like that, I don't remember. I, like, acaso yo le dije que hiciera esto? Okay, nice. Okay, next. Let's go with the next one. Find something yellow. yellow. Something yellow, yellow. Something that is yellow. Maria, good. Good, Maria. Wilmer, good. Let me see. Reina, good. Yellow? René, good, yes. Walter, good. Wendy, good. René, good. Marta, good. Carla Joel. <laughs> that's a good one, Carla. Okay, that's a good one. Um, Eneida, what is that, Eneida? Is that um, uh, a tea? Is that a tea? It's honey. Candy. It's honey. Oh, honey. honey. Joanna. Oh, Eric, that's a good one. Joanna, that's a good one, Joanna. 
Reina, that's a good one. Oh, Oscar, that's a good one too. Uh, Stephanie, Stephanie, good. Brian, hmm, I can see Brian that you love, um, you love, is it like, um, how do you say that? Video games, I guess. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, Osmel, that's a good one, Osmel. Next, find something white. Something white. That's an easy one. Easy. Something white. White. <laughs> Wilmer, that's a good one. Stephanie. Oh, Raymond. <laughs> okay. Eric, Thank good her. one. Wendy, Rene, Eneida, Osmel, Maria. Good. Walter, good. It's Oscar, so what do you have, Oscar? Oh, a bag. Reina, oh, a face mask. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay, and the last one, find something triangle. Triangle? My. Yes, something that is triangle. Hmm. Something that is triangle. Mm -hmm. Marta, good. Rene, good. Maria, good. Reina, good. Uh, Marta, good. Hmm. Triangle. A triangle, yes, a triangle. <laughs> Walter, <laughs> that's a good one, Walter. Let me see another one. Mm -hmm. Eneida is looking, see? Eneida like, ¿Dónde puede encontrar algo triangle? <laughs> that's a good one, Oscar. Oh, yeah. The, is that the curtain? Yeah. Eneida, good. Wilmer, good. Carla, good. Uh, Joanna, good. <laughs> you just made it up. Puedo ver que muchos hicieron un papelito. I got a triangle. <laughs> okay. So thank you so much. Uh, thank you for participating. I hope uh, if you were sleepy, I hope you are not. I hope, I hope. Okay. All right. So let's go to the presentation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay. Okay. My childhood. We're going to do an activity. ¿Se acuerdan que yo les dejé una, una asignación? Right? Yeah. You had an assignment. So what are we going to do? Walter, would you like to read it for me, please? Okay, teacher. Okay. When I was a child, I used to visit my grandparents every weekend in the countryside. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay. Can you read the directions? Number one, two, three. What I have here on the screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. I share my screen? No, 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 no. Can oh. you read my screen? Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. Puede leer mi pantalla? Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I, 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 I think you need to read my paragraph. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. <coughs> okay, my childhood. Number one, go to the breakup rooms. Uh, number two, share with your classmate about your childhood. Ask and answer questions. Uh, number three, share your childhood sentence with the whole class. Time, five minutes. Okay, good. So what are we going to do right now? Okay, what are we going to do right now? I'm going to send you to a small breakout rooms and you are going to read or speak. Okay, okay. just naturally, because I'm pretty sure you did your homework, right? You did your assignment. So right now, what you need to do is you are going to go to a small um, room and you are going to talk, okay? okay? Is that clear? Joanna, um, if you don't know what we're doing, no worries. You, you can join and then you can listen to your classmates, okay? Just listen to them. And then if you want, you can participate later, okay? Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, everyone? Yes. yes. Okay, yes, good. Sir. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, let me create the breakout rooms. So we have 18 people. I have, okay, six groups. Six times three, 18. Um, five, let me see. Five times four, 20. Okay, let me see. Okay, yes, I have four teams. Okay. Okay.
and I was afraid to fix a push. And, and that's all I think so. And you, what about your childhood? Did your child, sorry? Me, when, when I was a child, I didn't like to play with other children. Even though there were many, I didn't feel the need to socialize with them. <clears throat> I felt safe inside my house. A lot of mango with salt. But now uh, I, I don't do that. <laughs> and when I was a child, I used to play hide and seek with my cousin every day. In the afternoon, yeah, we started to play it around uh, five o'clock, and we started almost seven or eight p.m. Wow! Yeah, A yes. Long time. You know, in the, in the countryside, the life is very different. I used to study very hard in the college. Uh, I used to teach like a like a instructor and only that. Okay, who next? I guess Brian. Brian, it's your turn. Um, I did it. Okay, Oscar. Oscar. All right. Um, I'll go start. Well, uh, in my childhood, I used to. Yo que es adulto pues ya. Sí. Cierto. Que terminamos, teacher. I finished teacher. <laughs> wow, that was so fast. Okay, yeah. that was so yes. fast. Yes. I need to, to hear about our stories, teacher. <laughs> huh? uh, well, yeah, but uh, the thing is, I'm supervising now every room. Ah, okay. Okay. Well, okay. Okay. <laughs> listen, you can speak. Uh, you can. I mean, you can talk about anything, but in English. Okay. Oh. Talk about anything. Talk about your family, but in English. Okay. I gotta okay. go. Okay, I gotta go. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay, very good. Okay, very good in this moment. Uh, continue with the principal room. Nice to meet you, Cristobal. Nice to meet you. Okay, welcome back. Welcome everyone back. So how was your interaction? How was it? Eh, was it, eh, it was okay. It was like, yes, it was, bah. how was it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Was it good, bad, eh, kind of, kind of. Mm -hmm. It was interesting. Nice, very nice. Maybe talking when a partner Okay, nice, very nice. Okay, so let's wait for the other ones to join us. Yes, everyone's coming back to the main room. And I'm very, okay, let me wait for them. So let me wait for everyone. Yes, I guess everyone's here. Okay, let me ask you, I mean, let me tell you that I'm very proud of all of you because I was like listening to your conversations and I was very happy to see you, you were practicing. Believe me, believe me, I have had other students at the same level, but they don't speak. But you guys, you are on fire, which is good. Yes, really? yes you are on fire, that's good, okay? So the that's something that I, yes, like you're like the big boss, okay, you know? <laughs> okay, and keep it up, keep it up like that. Because I said, the more you practice, the more you are going to improve your 
English, okay? So that was very good, very good job. Okay, but I wanna hear volunteers about your childhood. Mm -hmm. Any volunteer? Me, teacher? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, I read. Uh, when I was a child, I used to visit my grandparents every weekend in the countryside because I enjoy chasing the hens and chickens in my grandparents' house. Moreover, I used to enjoy playing hide and seek with my friends and jump rope when it was raining. Also, I used to eat a lot of those green leaves who caught the tree with my friends. So my childhood was amazing how I would like those time to return again. Good, good. Yeah, you know what, Walter? I used to eat uh, hoja de jocote. <laughs> That's yeah. what I used to do when I was a child. Yeah, yeah that is true. Yeah. And nice I used place. to put some salt. Yeah. I used to play with hoja de jocote. I was like telling yeah. my friends, okay, yeah. let's go to San Salvador. Yeah. And this is going to yeah. be a $1 bill. Una hoja de jocote oh, yeah. era un billete. So, yeah. Was yeah. <laughs> next. Who's well, next? Column. Who is next? And uh, by the way, I'm from the countryside. So I guess Eric was saying something about the countryside. And I'm from the countryside. So I used to play with my friends. And also when we were bad, when we were very angry, so we used to throw uh, stones, like fighting. Hey, hey, tirando una piedra. <laughs> yeah. OK, who is next? That's not first. Brian, <coughs> Osmel, go ahead, Osmel. Okay, thank you. When I was a child, I used to play trompo, chibola, <laughs> yo yo, and I used to visit my grandparents, and I used to eat mango with my friends. And I used to go to the river and cross the other countries because I, I live in the border. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Something that I used to do when I was a child, I used to drink uh, this kind of um, chivola or nada, the pichelito contento, oh, something yeah. like that. <laughs> Toki, Toki. Yeah. Hmm. I don't remember. Toki, Toki. Your name is Toki. Toki yeah, yeah. Fre Fresky talk. Yeah, that was I, I used to brand. drink that one. Another to... brand, Toki, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Who is next? Thank you, Smell. Who who is next? Next, next. Teacher, when I when I was a child, uh, I I used to play with my brother, uh, uh, play a war, a war, uh, throwing sem semillas de guero. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. One more, one more person, please. One more person. Mm -hmm. Por favor, no se peleen. Solo una persona, por favor. Only one person. <laughs> okay, go, 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 Abarca. Okay, when I was a child, I used to live in the countryside. And I used to go to play... Hi and see with my cousin. Cousin, I'm sorry. And we started to play around five o'clock and we finished around six or 7 p.m. Uh, when I was a child in the countryside, uh, there, there wasn't electricity. That's why everybody uh, uh, was going to bed very early. And well, we, when I was a child, I go to the river. I used to go to the river every single day. That's why I I can say I enjoyed my, my childhood. Oh, nice. So where do you used to live, Abarca? Uh, La Paz. Mm, what, what city? Zacatecoluca. Oh, Zacatecoluca. Okay. Mm -hmm. But now in the in the city, uh, I don't know how do you say. Uh, 
how can I say Canton English? <laughs> I, I didn't hear you well. What? I didn't hear you. Mm -hmm. You mean Canton? How do you say Canton in English? Does anybody ah, okay, know? Okay. How do you say Canton in English? Like, I used to live in Canton. Canton. Mm -hmm. mm, no, nah, I don't know. Well, you can say... The same uh, countryside? Yeah, you can say the countryside. I used to live in the countryside. Or ah, okay. you can say uh, village. Mm -hmm. Village. The village. Yeah. Village. Oh, you can uh, say village. Okay. Uh, rural, rural area. See? Rural area. Rural area. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Good. Thank you so much I'm for your pay now. Okay, good. Good. Okay, thank you for participating. Let's move on. Okay, let's move on to the next activity that we're going to do today. All right. Okay, good. So as you know, we are um, we are reviewing the simple past because today is the last day where we're going to be talking about simple pa simple past. Okay. So remember, we use simple past with be to express actions in the past. All right. Remember that if we want to express simple past activity, Teacher. yes, yes, Teacher. yes, yes. Tell me. You can send. You can send this information at the chat. Yeah. So send me a text okay. in the WhatsApp group, and I'm going to send you this presentation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. All right. In all of them. Yeah, yeah, of course. So can you tell me, can you tell me sentences using was? Mm -hmm. Tell me sentences. I was busy. I was, I was busy. Good. Mm -hmm. Another one? I was playing basketball. I was playing basketball. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was upset. I was upset. Okay, good. Now, how about if I give you, if I give you the subject? The subject is they. Mm -hmm. They what? They, 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 were, they were swimming at the school. They <laughs> were swimming. They were, they were swimming. In the they pool. were swimming at the pool. Good. Nice. Uh, what about if I, in negative? She, she, negative. What's it? She, she wasn't. wasn't. She 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 wasn't. Playing. She wasn't playing. She wasn't playing basketball. Okay. She wasn't playing basketball. Okay, good. She wasn't a student. She wasn't. She wasn't a student. Okay. See? She wasn't a student. Okay? Good. Okay. How about if I want to ask questions? Questions. What? Question with was and where? Yeah, was and where? Yeah, question with was and where? What what was you watching yesterday? What were you? Mm -hmm. What remember, were you watching? Yeah. Remember that we have he, she, yeah, yeah, and well, and I, and I, of course, I. I. I and it, it with what? Using what? With what, right? And then we have yeah. they, I mean, sorry. They, they we, we, you, they, you, you. with, where, 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 right? So, see? Okay, don't, don't what forget that. What were you watching on TV yesterday? Okay, what were you watching? What? On, on TV, TV yesterday. yesterday, okay. What were you watching on TV yesterday? Good. Another one. What about 
where were you uh, where were you swimming the last month where were you swimming okay last month okay thank you where were you swimming last month okay in spanish when we are writing or saying sentences most of the time we say el el la los les etc in english we don't say the okay al menos que si está en una conversación se está um, emphasizing or specifying we say the but in this case since we know that last month was what december right december so we don't use to we don't use the we don't use the december month yeah okay so the last december month Month. Yeah, month. so that would be where were you swimming last, last month. month without without the okay okay, okay. what okay. were you swimming last the same happened with this one um look a lot of people say this where were you the last night what is the problem what is the mistake mm -hmm. the article the See? Or we call it the. <clears throat> Where were you Where last were you night? Last I don't need to say the. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where were you last night? Hey, Wilmer. Where were you last night, Wilmer? <clears throat> last night I I was um, sleeping, but before that I was watching TV because um, there was a. Uh, a great movie in the in the <laughs> canal six. Okay. Uh <laughs> channel six. Channel six. Channel, channel, six. channel, yeah, six. channel six. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. So if you see, so I don't I don't think do we have any question about this one? Any question? No? No? Okay. If we don't have any question, let's move on to the next one. See? <clears throat> let me see this one okay here we go also um we uh, we are reviewing with the simple past we have that one right the simple past with d right with d can you type sentences in simple past in the chat can you go please mm -hmm. can you go to the chat mm -hmm. A question? Yeah, uh, it could be a question. It could be uh, a sentence. Yes. Mm -hmm. Type it in the chat. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna type one here. I didn't do my homework. Mm -hmm. I didn't do my homework. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. Do you eat pupusas yesterday? <laughs> do you eat pupusas yesterday? Okay. Do you do do you do our homework yesterday? Uh huh. Nice. They cooked pizza. I taught to my family. Good. I didn't. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Carlo, for that one is I didn't do the laundry. Okay. I didn't do the laundry. Um, no, that's fine. That's fine. Do you go to the mall? Mm -hmm. I didn't cook yesterday. All right. Thank you. Remember, when we have did, okay, find a mistake here. I want you to find a mistake. What is the mistake? Uh, did. Yes, hmm? After the auxiliar, the second auxiliar did. Yeah. It's basic. Yeah. It's do. Is this good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There yeah. need to be it's in. Wrong. It's do. Do. That's wrong. In basic. Okay. Yes, definitely. This should be in the simple form. Okay. So that is. Do. Do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. 
Okay, what about this one? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Let me see this one. No. I not do my homework. Mm -hmm. What is no. the mistake? I not do my homework. The article, the auxiliary did is mm -hmm. um, after the particular not. You needed to add, yeah. uh, didn't know to. Do, okay, yeah. I didn't do my homework. Okay, good. Okay, now tell me a question. Ask me a question. Any question? With did. Did you work yesterday? Do you, do you, do you watch work? The, the game? Okay, look at that sentence. What do yes, you think about he, the sentence? Is that correct? He has mistake. What is yeah. the mistake? Mm -hmm. the, the ED. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Good. Very good. Why? Why is that a mistake? Because that's because, not simple. Uh, the simple. You use the word. The be, auxiliary D is uh, is the the sentence in past. Make nice. The sentence in past. Nice. Very nice. Okay. So when every time I had did the auxiliary verb did makes the verb in simple past okay that was a good observation good teacher yes when i ask with using deal the answer could be using a a, um, a simple past or could be use a past progressive well <clears throat> past continuous yeah yeah I, uh -huh. for example if i ask you do you work yesterday yeah you cannot tell me i was working because i'm not asking you if you were doing an activity or that activity in progress so definitely definitely has to be the same just i worked yeah. i worked yeah okay. yes i worked however if i ask you yesterday like were you Mm -hmm. working yesterday at let me see 2 p.m. yeah that's the past continue the past continue, that's the yes. past continue huh? but for example what did you do <coughs> yesterday in the morning could be oh. answered with with uh with past progressive continue no look <coughs> what do you no yeah that what did what were you, you working where? Uh-huh. Oh, oh, were you no. working? That's no. that's a question. Yes? No. 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 Say that again. Did in what, did, what did in you Spanish, do yesterday then. in the morning? What do you do oh, in, yeah. the mor in the morning? Yeah. What do you do in the morning? See, you tell me if if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah? Does it make sense? Yeah. What do you, que hiciste? I was working. In Spanish, we say, yes, and it makes sense in Spanish. Like, what yeah. do you do in the morning? Oh, I was working. Uh -huh. But the question, the answer in English, the answer to that question would be, what were you doing in the morning? Oh, okay. What okay. were you, see? Yeah. What, what, but that was a good question. What were you doing in the morning, see? Yeah, because define a uh, line of, of time. Yes, look. Yeah. Look. Yeah. So if I asked you using the past continue, I expect that the answer would be in past continue too. Okay. So if I ask you the with the simple, uh, if with the oh, simple, sorry. with the simple yeah. past, so I expect that you answer with the simple past. Yeah. See? If I the same the same here, where are you working? Working. Mm -hmm. I was working. See? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Oh, Thank you. That was a, yes, yes. Uh the the simple pass is is identified for the the particular or auxiliary ENG, right? Mm -hmm. 
Yes, but when we were, when you are using the past continuous, remember the past continuous. Yeah, yeah, the past. Continuous. But the simple past is mm -hmm. just for did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, the simple past with did. Okay, when we are talking about simple past, hay dos formas para expresar el simple past. El primero es con el did, y el siguiente es con was and and where where. Ok, that's it. Ok. Cuando utilizamos el was and where, esto se refiere al verbo, al famoso verbo, verbo to be. That's it. Uh -huh. Y cuando utilizamos el did, es para todos los otros verbos, a excepción del verbo to be. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. And of course, we use did when we are asking questions on, or when we are saying a negative sentence. Pero si estamos haciendo una oración positiva, we don't need the did, ¿ok? Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Ok. So because of the time, ok, because, uh, because we are running out of time, and then see, ok, let's continue right now, right here. Ok. So we already were and talked about that one. Also with the used to, remember? Uh, we have been working on that. So look, so when we had did, remember that nothing happened to the verb, okay? Keep in mind that one, okay? See, if I have did, the verb should be normal. Como es otro, el verbo normal, okay? All right, do you have any question about used to? Do you have any question? Any question? Okay, teacher. Teacher, when mm -hmm. used, I use to. Uh, um, so, um, uh, are some activities right now? I can no, no, no lo hago ahorita. So okay, what? Que hice el pasado que no la repito ahorita. I use to. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So, ¿cuál es la Cuando diferencia te... entre el pasado normal, como por ejemplo, uh -huh. I worked. Let's say I worked. Okay, uh -huh. let me give you an example. Okay, in my case, for example, I was working, I was working, or I worked um, at CCSA, another, another, okay, I was working in another company, uh, mm -hmm. but today I'm not working anymore. So I can say, I used to work in a college, un colegio, okay? Mm -hmm. I used to work. Am I working right now in a college? No. Now I am working in a university. See, see the difference? Mm -hmm. okay. So when I say I used to, that means that I don't do that anymore. Yeah, see? the same thing when you say, what did you used to? Ah, uh -huh, yes. What did you used to do when you uh -huh. were a child? ¿Qué solías hacer cuando eras un niño? It's the same thing. It's the, the same, same thing. Mm -hmm. Another structure. Mm -hmm. It's another structure. The only thing is yeah. we are asking uh, questions uh, for more information. Okay. Okay. okay? Okay. Porque estoy preguntándole el qué. Uh -huh. Puedo preguntarle, por ejemplo, when. Uh -huh. When did you used to uh, when did you used to cook when you were a teenager? ¿Cuándo solías cocinar cuando eras un joven? Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. I used to cook after school. Uh -huh. Sí. Uh -huh. okay. okay. And Carlos, uh, there is a question here. When we use auxiliary did, we must use verb in present. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. But remember, utilizamos did con preguntas y con negativos. Preguntas mm -hmm. y negativos, ¿cómo así? Ok, ¿cómo así me puede decir usted? Ok, ¿sí? Mm -hmm. Ok, let me give you an example. I didn't, en negativo, right? I didn't open the window. ¿Sí? I didn't open. Negative. Look at the bird. No le pasa nada al verbo, right? O en pregunta, do you, do you open the window? Sí. O the book. Let's go to the book. Sí. Nothing happened to the verb. ¿Por qué no le pasa nada, chicos? Can, can anybody help me here? Why? ¿Por qué no le pasa nada al verbo? The, the, the auxiliary is here. Yeah, dear. 
Yes, exactly. Because I have el famoso auxiliar did. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Por eso no le pasa nada al verbo. ¿Sí? En, en your assignments, you, uh, si, ven, si meten a la plataforma, ustedes van a encontrar eso, ese tipo de ejercicio. ¿Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok, let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, let me see. Ok. So now let's talk about your city. Yay. Okay. Okay. What? Okay. Okay. So what uh, can you tell me what things or what places I can find in your city? What places can I find in your city? For example, here, here in Chilanga, there is one park. Okay. Yeah. Continue. Tell me. Mm -hmm. In Santa Ana City, you can find a, a mall. You can find a three or four parks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can find a cinema. Yeah. Next, who can tell me more about your cities? Mm -hmm. In San Salvador or Santa Ana? Um, yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. In Santana, you can find church. How many how many churches can I find in Santa Ana? Oh my God, depends on. <laughs> I know. There are a lot. <laughs> oh, welcome, Pam. I didn't see you coming up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there are a, a, a city hall, is correct? City hall? Yeah, city hall. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. How many city halls? Only one in Santa Ana City. Yeah, yeah. there is only one there city. There is only hall. one. City yeah, there hall. is only. Okay. Uh, there is a theater. <coughs> a one theater. Oh, one theater. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Look, I don't know. Let me show you something. Do you know the difference between countable and uncountable nouns? Mm -mm. No? Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. so, so, so. Okay. <laughs> when we are talking about countable nouns, countable nouns are things that I can count. For example, look, I have car. Yeah. One car, two cars, three cars, etc. Yeah. All right. So let's say one house. Okay. One house, two houses, three houses, four houses, and so on. Right. So those are countable nouns. What about uncountable nouns? Uncountable nouns are nouns that I can't count. Pregunto, ¿puedo contar la leche? Can I say one milk, two milk, three milks? Can I say that? No. Yeah. No. But you, okay. I mean, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Unless, okay, if you're referring you use to a, a bottle. Yeah. Uh, quantifiers. Yeah. A quantity, yeah. If you need a quantity, a, a measure or quantity, yeah. yeah, you can say, for example, you can say uh, a box, a box of milk, two boxes of milk. A In bottle. that situation, yes. But the milk by uh -huh. itself, I can count it. Okay. Yeah. Another question. Can I count happiness? No. 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 So happiness is uncountable. Emotions cannot be counted. Yeah. Okay. For example, sadness. I cannot say I had two sadnesses. Two <laughs> percent of sadness. <laughs> no, I can't say that. I have many sadnesses. <laughs> not in the world. Okay. No. Okay. So uncountable now. The difference is countable, I can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, and until the well. Infinite, okay? Uncountable? Nope. I can't count. All right. Look at this one, this other example. These are some other example of what? Of things that I can count. For example, yeah. computer, spoon, desk, flower, camera. Those are things that I can count. Okay. Look at this other thing. These, those are some examples. Of course, there are many, many examples. Water, I cannot count water. Unless you have a bottle of water, mm -hmm. two bottles of water, three bottles of water. By, by itself, I can count. 
I cannot count oxygen. El oxígeno no lo puedo contar. Al menos que esté en un container, right? A container, for example, um, if you need oxygen at the hospital, they, well, you go to the pharmacy or you go to the uh, company and then you get oxygen, the bottle of oxygen, right? No puedo contar. Uh, can meat. you show me the picture before this one, please? What is it? Can this you show one? me the picture? Yeah. This one? Okay. Yes, thank you. Teacher, okay. teacher. Yes, yes, beans yes. Are, beans are countable, rice, no countable. No. Yeah. No, I cannot count beans okay. myself. <laughs> no puedo contar el, el frijol por sí solo. Puedo contar mm -hmm. las libras de frijoles. Yes. See, mm -hmm. I can say one pound, yeah. two pounds of yeah. beans. Pero el beans by itself, I cannot count it. No oh, puedo decir, mire, beans, hey, buenas. Beans. Can you sell me one? And the, the start and the sky are countable or incountable? Well, the sky is uncountable, but the stars, well, I mean, you, you, can, count count the stars, yeah. you can count it, but I mean, there are millions or trillions of <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yes. what I would like you to, I mean, what I'd like you to uh, be clear is the difference between countable and uh, uncountable. Yeah. Okay, for example, look at this example. Um, let me present this one. Okay. I used too many, let me, let me see. I used too many, many with what? With plural and countable nouns, yeah. okay? For example, I can say many cars, many buildings, many parks, many houses. Mm -hmm. What about much? Much in countable. Yeah. With uncountable. Okay, I drink too much water. I drink too much water. See, in this case, traffic. No puedo contar el tráfico. Uh, en español no creo que sí. Me encontré cinco tráficos. <laughs> we don't say that, right, in Spanish, right? Cinco trabazones. Cinco trabas. <laughs> traffic jam. Aquí okay, contamos yeah. todo. Uh, yeah. All right. The next one. See, we use fewer with what? With countable. And less with uncountable. What is pollution? Can you tell me what pollution um, is? Toxic, environment. toxic environment. environment. Yeah. yeah, with environment, it's uh, contamination. Contamination, that's with another word. CO2. Okay, CO2. Some people yeah. are throwing garbage okay. by the windows. All right. The good thing right here is more, I can use more with either countable and uncountable, right? For example, you can say, I ate two, uh, uh, give me two more apples. Mm -hmm. Give me two more apples. Mm -hmm. And then I can tell you, give me more water. See, mm -hmm. I can use both more and more with what? With countable and uncountable nouns. Now, the other question is, what is enough? Suficiente. Yeah. I can use enough with- In both cases. In both cases. Either countable and uncountable nouns. Okay? All right. Teacher, so, it's a good way to use uh, enough, but countable enough. or no countable. Yeah, yeah, good. The good thing is that you can use enough with countable and uncountable. The same thing mm -hmm. happens with it's more It's not complicated, more. yeah. It's not complicated. Yes. Okay, <laughs> before I go, before I go, let me see what we're going to do before I go. All right. Since I don't know where you live, okay, you are going to describe your city for tomorrow. And don't worry, because tomorrow we are going to continue talking about countable and uncountable city. But before, before you go, can you tell me sentences uh, describing your city? For example, many, you can tell me many or much, or you can tell me fewer or less, or you can tell me enough or isn't enough. Mm -hmm. Before we go. ¿Quién quiere comenzar? Voy al chat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Al chat. Oh, 
Um, we have to um, give you an example using that. Yeah. Using uncountable. And countable and uncountable about your city. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So can I start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, going yeah, to go be like, like, in my city are too many cars. Mm -hmm. There are too many cars. Mm -hmm. And in my city, mm -hmm. it's an enough space for parking. Good example. In my city, okay, okay, it's very important that we use the is or there are, okay? Eso significa en español hay, okay? The is for uncountable and singular. And there are for for countable and plural. Okay. There is and there are. Do you remember that? There is and there are. There is yeah. for. Okay. Good. Okay. Next. Who is next? Uncountable mm -hmm. teacher could be in my city. There, there is too much worries about the pandemic. Okay. There is too much worries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, in next. San Salvador, there are many beautiful places, but less uh, nine applications. Okay, okay, nice, good example. One more. Mm -hmm. Describe describe your city. Mm -hmm. In my city, there are one stadium. Oh, there is one. There is one stadium. Good. Let me see. Avarca says, in my city, there isn't enough gas station well in that case i can count gas station okay for example i can say one gas station two gas stations three gas stations and by the way just before i go porque ya casi nos vamos solo es lo último que les voy a enseñar ahorita acá si ven la palabra la palabra gas station Termina con letra S y comienza con letra S, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When we are speaking, we link the two letter S. Okay? We say gas station, see? Mm -hmm. Gas station. We don't say gas station. and then station. We say gas, gas station. station. See? Gas station. We join the two letters S, okay? So we don't okay. say, hey, you know what? There is one gas station. It's a gas station. Yes. See, in solo. Okay. Okay. Como gastar gas station. Que de gas station. Okay. Gas station. So. Fin de semana. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow at 9 p.m. Have a great night. It was a great pleasure to talk to you. And tomorrow we're going to continue uh, learning about countable and uncountable nouns. Okay. And we are going to continue describing our cities. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a great night. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye.